Hello all, welcome to orotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we create or modify or cancel an ESS job schedule in Oracle Cloud AI. So we'll try to understand about how do we create a BIP report as an ESS job. And also we'll try to understand how do we create or modify or cancel a schedule of an ESS job. So let us see the BIP, BIP report details. So this is a sample report which is designed and this is in the location, custom or trainings, GL, custom or trainings folder and the report name is GL ledger report dot So it is based on a GL, uh, it is based on a data model concept. Like uh, this is a data model and this is a report. And here if you observe the location of the report, when you just click, click open on the report, you can see the path of your XDO path in the browser. And after XMLP server, what are the path? that is considered as your report path this report path you have to mention when you register the report in the ess okay so now coming to the next thing like how do we register it so you have to click on setup and maintenance click on search and mention this particular task name like a manage enterprise scheduler job definition and job sets for financial supply chain management related application you can register the report in there are three different uh, modules which are available like uh, in the crm hcm or a financial related one okay so i selected the financial related task and you have to mention these set of properties here the display name which will be displayed to the user and the internal code name it is a name and here you have to mention the job application name as fscm ess and mention the report id the one which we consider like uh, when you click open on the report after like a uh, starting after xmlp server and if it is a vip report you have to like if it is a bursting report make sure that you select the bursting flag if at all we have any parameters make sure that you mention the parameters also okay so now once the report is registered the next thing is you have to think about like how do you schedule it and how do you run it and all those things now before starting details of the schedule let us understand what is the schedule why do we use it the basic purpose of a schedule is like uh, if at all if you want to run a particular job frequently on a particular on a particular basis nothing but it can be you want to run a particular report on every hour or every day or bi-weekly or maybe monthly right so if you consider some of the transaction related information regarding the master data purpose let us say in some of the erp application what happens is like you want to send the master data to third party applications like uh, every week every day right like at the end of the day you want to send the data so in those kind of scenarios what we do is we'll design a bip extract you schedule it every day 24 hours or in other scenarios like every 15 minutes i want to run my transaction report like uh, which generates the bank transaction information into the ftp folder in those scenarios like if you want to set the frequency of every 15 minutes you can set that way okay so the basic reason of frequency like a setting like a schedule is like a, if you want to send your particular BRP, your particular oracle cloud erp data to third party system for the other particular purposes right it can be a, like bank related transaction purpose or maybe other application purposes which are depending upon a cloud erp you require the data from the cloud erp and that has to be done automatically there is no manual intervention involved here right it, else it will be very difficult for you to always run the report and every 15 minutes you just copy the data to the third party system that is quite impossible right so that is the reason you have this particular schedule functionality and what happens when you're done when you perform a schedule of your report so generally like whenever you run the report this is that will be an ad hoc, ad hoc basis and it will be submitted automatically but when you design a schedule for your ess job what happens is once you define a schedule for your particular report so the parent request will be submitted and the child request the child request will be calculated nothing but they will be submitted according to the frequency which you submit which, which you mentioned while defining your schedule so that will be considered as a parent request here if you observe the process with the process id 2616115 this is my parent request like this is this comes into picture when i schedule my job with appropriate frequency and then the further child request will be submitted according to the frequency which i set so here there are four requests were submitted and the other one other request is in a waiting period so it depends upon the frequency which you set it okay so once all the requests are completed nothing but like based on the frequency whatever you set it once all the requests are completed then your parent request will be completed okay so that's how the scheduling works in the cloud ERP. and how do you schedule yes a job so like a sim like a, there is no separate page for this particular scheduling functionality what you have to do is you just you have to go to your schedule process page search your request and search your like a search your job name and click on submit when you search when you search your job name you just click on okay and you'll see this particular process details page you have to click on advance once you click on advance you can see some more information like advanced option in the schedule select 
using a schedule okay using a schedule you mention the frequency whatever the frequency you want it make sure that you mention the appropriate start time and end time end time and then you can click on submit once you submit this particular parent request will be considered as a parent request for all your child jobs and they'll be submitted according to the frequency whatever you set it okay so here if you observe this is my parent request and i can see like a uh, if at all if you want to see like one more important thing is if at all if you want to consider let us say when you just simply click on search in the schedule process you will see all the requests but how do you know whether a particular job is a scheduled one or independent one what you have to do is you have to click on hierarchy when you click on hierarchy all the schedule based jobs will be grouped like this okay you can see the group here and you can just expand it you can see the list of child request if at all if you want to edit the schedule you just select the parent job and click on edit schedule you can set the frequency and you can add time and you can see some other properties related to schedule okay and if at all if you want to know like how many child requests are submitted for your parent request you can just make use the, make use of this particular table you can find out like uh, what is the parent request id and how many jobs are submitted for that particular information and some more information on the ess schedule like uh, one the first thing is like uh, you cannot find out what is the frequency you set on a particular schedule you don't have any table in table available for this particular information and also there is no flexibility for you to download as well as upload the schedule information and if at all if you want to modify it if at all if you want to modify it what you do is you have to search like you just search your job click on a hierarchy and click on edit schedule there you can modify the schedule and if at all if you want to cancel a job what you have to do is when you submit the parent request when you submit the yes a job right like before, during schedule we generally submit it right once you schedule you click on submit you'll get the parent request id of that but you you'll get a request id of your job you search with that particular request id and then you have an option to cancel it okay so here if you observe i this is my this is a request id of the initial submission of my job and i just need to search it and click on cancel you should not click on hierarchy when you click on hierarchy you will not have any option to cancel it you have to select the process id with a flat list and you just select the request id and click on cancel this is how you can cancel it okay let me show in the application now here if you observe let us say if at all if you want to schedule a process what you do just click on schedule select your particular job okay one minute okay select the job click on okay and here you have to click on advance and here you can you have to select using a schedule you mention whatever the frequency you want to have it every hour i'll just say every minute i want to run a job okay and i just want to set the time as like uh, in the next one hour go on running it okay so i'll just simply select the timing and you can also select the advanced option by clicking on manage times you can mention the start time and time okay okay you can change the frequency also like you just click on this one again it will ask you whether you know like what are settings which you selected that will get lost but you can simply select yes and you can set the timing again now let us say i selected this one right let us say i'll change a little bit okay okay so these are all the calculated things which got scared which got you know like a uh, generated based on the time we selected okay now we can just select okay you can remove or add whatever you can do it and then click on submit so once you click on submit yeah so it shows some issue okay so here if you observe like uh, if for the same job if there are earlier requests which are pending which are already scheduled and which is pending you cannot have one more schedule it will not work okay so sometimes what we do is we sometimes we may have a requirement like uh, technically the report is same but but you know like i want to have i want like a, for one organization i want to generate the data for one hour and for another organization i want to generate the data for every two hours in those kind of scenarios what we generally do is you can just simply duplicate your research job create a separate schedule for each particular research job very simple your bip report is same but you'll have a two research job and it will have its own schedule so now in this case here if you observe it is giving an issue because i cannot schedule the same job again because it is already already the schedule is running right so here if, here if you observe so you can just click on select the process id because the status is wait the status when you say the status is wait it means that there are some, some set of child jobs which are already running so you can just 
okay sometimes you know like uh, it doesn't give proper information what you can try to do is just you know like uh, try to just search some other information and try to come back again it'll work okay now yeah now just expand this one okay so it is already in waiting situation so until unless this particular schedule is cancelled you cannot create a new schedule okay and if at all if you want to cancel it so here if you observe i can cancel the child one but let us say if you select the parent one right so you, you have an option to cancel from the here also right so you can cancel from here also not only from the individual flat list you can also cancel the total job now let us i'll click on cancel process okay now refresh the status should be in cancelled okay yep cool so you can either cancel the individual child job or you can cancel the parent job okay now schedule a new process now try it now again advance using a schedule so i'll select hourly every minute okay i'll say i just say 8 58 that's it and click on submit what did we miss it yeah there should be one at least okay so this is a parent request which was submitted now okay yeah now it just we have to wait for some time so then it will start it will start the schedule okay can you see so this schedule is able to run okay it is not yet started i mean the report is not yet running as of now but it just the schedule is about to start for this particular one okay so it has a schedule time right like this you can just find out the schedule time but it will not show all the list of schedules okay now if at all if you want to find out if at all if you want to edit it you just simply click on edit here and you can change the schedule and if at all if you want to cancel it simply click on the parent and click on cancel but if you click on the child and if you click on cancel only that particular child will be cancelled not the parent right so if at all if you want to cancel the whole schedule you have to click on the parent and click on cancel okay so this is how we can make use of the schedule functionality in the cloud erp thank you